Hey guys, Karo Slakyal here once again with another video. This time we will be touching on the application called Share Factory on the PS4 for editing videos, photos, and music, as well as, um, well, anything you really want to post onto a, a format such as YouTube or Twitch. If you haven't already, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Don't forget about the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video or go live. I'm also going to have a link down below to a fundraiser that I'm doing that's going to be ending shortly. Um, any little bit of help within the next day or so still is always appreciated. Say thank you to those who are working in the healthcare industry. And um, yeah. So in Chair Factory, you want to edit your videos, you want to make content. We're making a project to start off with a theme. There's lots of different themes you can get from the PlayStation Store. I have a good number of them. Not all of them I actually have games for. Um, like Uncharted, I don't have Uncharted yet. I like to look at some of these. The Last of Us looks like an interesting game. That's why I got the theme for it. I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. Um... I haven't, I don't know what this one's from. That one must be a new one. Um, I usually tend to go with the standard share factory theme for most of my videos. Uh, it's just easier to run and format for me. Either that one or the PS4 theme. Um, the playroom is fun. It's cute. You get a, a few different things that are pretty cool. Like uh, I'm playing this right now. Yeah, just a little intro, you know. And then you got the title screen where you put your title for the video and everything. And you got your outro. I usually don't use the outro. Just because... And, and I don't use the stinger clip either. I usually go... Uh, this this version of the stinger clip, I always usually go with this one. I love this one. This one's just a simple... Chink. Not overly fond of... I mean, I like it. But I like this one better. But, yeah, so, I mean, I, I, again, don't have Battlefield Hardline. I don't even know why I got that one. Um, soccer theme, you got your shooter theme, uh, for those who like the shooter style games. Look at that. Old style Doom. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And you got your title screen. It's just a background like this where you put your title, your uh, logo for your channel, or whatever you want. And then, like, like I said, we'll get into the uh, effects and everything inside of a video project here in a minute. I just want to touch base on a few different things, such as the photo, uh, make a project or the photos, like I'm going to choose Titanfall, uh, select like a few random photos, and then add screenshots. It'll ask you to name your project. You only get so many characters to use. I'm just going to leave it as that. We'll hit continue. Uh, you can choose your uh, frame style. I personally like. Did I only choose three pictures? I must have. No, I chose four. Aha, here we are. Okay, four frame style. All right. But yeah, you got your different styles of frames, like for collages and everything you want to do. You want to make a custom collage to put up on a video channel um, or even on your Facebook profile, you know. Just something cool that lets people know, hey, this is something I'm interested in. This is really cool. These are some of the cool screenshots I took. Uh, we'll go with this one. Getting into the picture portion of it you can edit the photo it'll give you a few different options you can add your overlays like see I got my logo right here it's got a few different sticker overlays you could do such as the pause forward slow yada 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 you know all the fun stuff and then uh, it comes with custom stickers for that select theme 
I love them. They're pretty cool looking. And you got your little faces and stuff that you can put on to characters. You got a lot of different things you could use. Uh, you got your theme stickers, which are strictly just the ones from the themes. Your imported images, which you can choose. Um, say you have all your images you want, like your logo and everything saved onto a USB drive. You can plug the USB drive in, import it from this point right here. You can also choose to do text. So you want to put a text onto the image itself. I like, where is it? Did I go too far? I did. This one. So I uh, say so I just want to say get wrecked. You can transform it, move it around, and get it where you want it, you know. Uh, you can edit, color the words and everything, get them the color you want. I usually pretty much go standard because it'll give you the default to where it's able to be seen on the image. Your text effects change the wording how you want it to get it to be seen differently, you know. I like this one in some of my videos, and then sometimes I prefer this one. I don't really use the layer order or align very much, but if you wanted to align it, you could go align center, line left, line right, get it where you want it, you know? Uh, you want to align center, boom, centered. That way you don't have to dink around and try to find, figure out where the center of the picture or, or even the video is. It'll just put it to the center of the screen. The only thing you might have to do is edit and lower because it always starts up at the top. Always. So you'll have to lower down to where you want it if you're having multiple lines on the same area. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to exit without saving because I'm not saving that. You can make gifts out of the stuff in your capture gallery um, you can create from a project that you did um, and then of course it'll access your gallery within the share factory because the share factory has its own gallery separate from the PlayStation gallery but it still has access to that PlayStation gallery as well when you're selecting from your projects and stuff that you want to do imported content you can import music images and videos all from a USB drive. Let's say you have a uh, audio file that you want to use on a video but it's not on your PlayStation, it's on your computer. Save it to a USB drive, MP3, uh, use it right in here, you can import content to the share factory so that you can use it. Making videos, we'll get into that a little bit more here now. Uh, we're going to do a new project. Uh, I just did a recording for Horizon. I haven't done the editing yet. So I'm going to select my Horizon theme. I don't usually use the outro. It's a pretty cool outro, but I don't really like to use it very much. So I use the stinger clip for the outro. So. I press X and take it off. I don't use this one. I don't really like it, but I do like this one. I, I love the intro for Horizon. It's a nice little short one. I don't have to worry about it being overly long. And then of course the title screen, where I just put the title of the video and how I want it to do, you know. And then, of course, you select your video content that you did. And my current one that I'm going to be doing is going to be Horizon. So now, down below on the bottom, you'll see Select, Deselect, Start Project. You want to, you're going to hit Start Project. 
It, and again, it'll ask you to name your project. We will rename the project. Uh, oh, oops, too far. Uh, episode 19. And then we will continue. In fact, the episode 19 we're supposed to put together, but whatever. All right. Now, see, in the beginning, it'll start you right, after, right at the beginning of your project. If you hit X, it gives you a selection of things you can add to it. Say you want to add another track to that area. Say there's another video feed you want behind it, and then you could choose the um, visibility and see how you want it. How, how you want it. You can add music. You got a few different things you can choose from that are standard. Um, it's going to have that import from USB, so you can choose music from your USB. It doesn't have a lot of selection, but there are an awful lot. Now, these are kind of loud, so I'm not going to play too many of them. But there are a few of them that I like to use that are pretty toned down. A little, bit toned, a little bit toned down. Um, you can change the volume of these in your video themselves for the music volume or even the clip volume on the generic video of it. So if you say want the music to be heard more than the people talking, you can raise the music up higher or vice versa. You can change the people to be louder than the music. I usually just lower the music volume to where I can hear the video a lot better, but still hear the music. But we're not adding any music to this because it has its own sound and I liked it. But what we are adding, oops, wrong button. It's gonna ask you to go back <laughs> more, but you gotta pay attention because you might accidentally delete things you didn't want to delete in some cases. So you got all your different controls down at the bottom and it tells you what to do. It tells you what you can use, um, how to save, uh, the tools for the section, obviously the little wrench, the, the axes you're adding things, and I'm going to be adding an overlay. I'm going to be going with my logo. I'm going to go to the end of that section right there. I'm going to transform. I'm actually going to make it smaller because I only go about halfway in the screen, you know. And then you got your sticker animation. I like to have this one spin up into the screen. And then bounce and then uh, we're gonna have it slide out but here I'll show you the other ones you got your fade roll flying out that's say if you have it in the middle of the screen um, you slide out you saw spin away and zoom away and that's basically all re reverse of what it would come in. But since we're having it slide out, we're going to confirm that. Uh, you can change your opacity. So you don't want it so visible. You just want it kind of in there. But I like to have mine a little bit more visible so it catches the eye. You can actually edit the duration, say you have a longer video, um, you can actually edit the duration so that it goes to where you want it. I always max out the default duration because that's how I want it longer. And then if I need it longer for various reasons, say I'm still talking about that subject, I'll have it sit longer while I'm still talking about it. 
and then you can delete your sticker, change the order. Again, you have your line to your left, right, center. And let's see how that turned out. Now, there's already a transition between these two where it fades through. And we are actually going to just kind of inch, inch around with our directional pad. And then we're going to hit the tool button. Now you'll see you have time bender, split clip, trim clip, movie clip, or move clip, sorry. Um, you can delete the clip, clone the clip, pan and zoom to where you want on the clip. Edit your music if you have any on there. Um, clip volume, you can change the default volume for that section. I believe the generic is at 100. Yes. You can apply to all so that volume will go all across the board. You can edit the transition. I don't really use that very often, but you can click into edit, you can then delete it, replace it. Um, if it's a transition that has other things such as audio, there'll be the volume and the other transition settings available. But if it doesn't have those, you can't select them. Um, for pictures and such, say you wanna add a picture in between for the clips, you can then do edit layout if it's a clip that has the picture frames. Uh, if you have added a filter to it, you can then change the filter, but we're not doing that. We are going to be doing edit overlays. And since we are now on this, we are going to delete this one because I don't like the generic things that it puts on. Do, 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 do. Where is it? There it is. Confirm. And then we're going to delete this because it's a default. We are then going to edit the text on this. All right. And I think we're going to name this one for the side quest we did. Um, a daughter's revenge or vengeance or something like that I believe it's a daughter's vengeance so we're going to align this center just to make sure and then we are going to add in another text and we're going to go in with this one. Uh, I believe that actually needs an apostrophe. Is that capital? Yeah, okay. Then I click at that. But we are going to transform it because we're going to have to add more. We're going to move it down here. And we'll go back to edit text. A daughter's vengeance. Then we'll go to line center. Now it is centered. Uh, we are going to change the color. Try to get it to match up with the other one. Let's 
it's not quite the same. We'll actually darken it just a little. We're gonna change that. Get it a darker blue. There we go. And now we've added the correct coloring. It's not the same font, but that's okay. We are then going to make sure that it is aligned center. We are going to choose this one. Oops, wrong button. Tools, and we're going to transform. We're just moving it up. We're going to do the same thing with this one. Transform, move it up. Then, of course, we're going to click the X to add another overlay. We'll go stickers, logo. Confirm. Or deny, your choice. All right, we're going to then transform. We're actually going to put this one over in this corner. We are going to then choose the animation. It's going to fade in. We're going to have it bounce. And we're going to have it fade out. Now you can test this all out. Now see how that didn't... Okay, see how we don't didn't add the uh, things to the title. So now what we have to do is we're going to go to text animation for the title. We're going to do fade out. We're not, no middle animation. We're just going to do fade in. All right. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh, looks like we didn't do something on this one. Fade in. Fade out. There we go. Now I usually like to add a little transition here which it'll cut down on some of the time between the effects and the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of them. We're going to go over to text duration. And your right joystick will move the right in duration. Your left joystick will move the left. Now we're going to move to the left a little bit. We're going to go to right about there. And then we're going to move this one. Eh, probably about there. Now over on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a little spot that says overlay duration. Five point whatever seconds. And we're going to try to get that as near to 5.5 .5 as we can. Now we've edited those. Now we have this one to do. So we'll do text duration again. Move that one right where we want it, right there. And move this one to 5.5 .5 or roughly nearby. And then we'll do it for this as well. then we're going to back out of there and back to this screen and we're going to add a transition now there's lots of different transitions you can choose from you got your different horizon default ones that's pretty cool I haven't actually used these transitions for the horizon one yet
I actually rather like that. So we're going to choose this one, but it's 2.7 seconds. So that's a little long, but that's okay. Let's see how it looks. Because you, when you add a transition, it'll shorten the overall all project length. So yes, we're going to confirm that and we want that. So we're going to go do this. Now we're going to check back and see how it looks. Hey guys, there we go. Powers Lucky L here. One. Now, see, say we wanted to add some music again. There you go. Press X. You got your add music. Add filter. Change up how you want it to look, you know. Say you want to make it more dramatic in certain scenes. You can change it to black and white. Be like, whoa, what's going on there? But we are just going to be going this way. Alright, so. No, that's not what I want to do. That's right. Oh. Yes, I do. Now, we want to get this as close to when it was right about to do the loading screen because we're going to take away the loading screen. So it's right there. That's where we click X to confirm that we wanted the fast travel. And we're going to go right there. And we're going to click the tool button. And we're going to split clip. We're going to confirm the split. This is where you want to be careful because if you hit the wrong button, you could accidentally delete a clip that you didn't want to delete. So now we're going to go to the end of the loading screen. And this is why I actually prefer to do videos like this where they have loading screens that take a while. We'll just do it this way where we just cut out the loading screen then you guys don't have to deal with it inch by inch where is it oh okay so we want to backtrack a little We're going to go to where it's completely black, right as it opens up. Right there. And we're going to split the clip again. And now that sections it off into the clip that you don't want in the middle and the two clips you do want on the outer edge. And then now we're going to hit square to delete the middle clip. And then we're going to back out because we don't want to delete again, but we do need our tools for the section. No, we don't. We need X because we need to add a transition. And I'm going to go with a dissolve and we're just going to do fade crossfade. That's trouble. Yes, I do. Oh, there was a little bit of a loading screen there. See how that did that? Like, look at that. Yep. That's okay. It does happen periodically. But you know what we can do? We can then edit the transition. We're going to replace the transition. So we're going to cut out even more time. So see how that's only one minute? We're going to do one minute and 20 seconds. Or one second and 20 milliseconds. Not one minute. That's too long. <laughs> so now... Yes, I do. There we go. We cut out that one section we didn't want. 
a lot more cleanly. All right, so we have a little ways to go there. All right. Now we've gone over this a little bit. I haven't messed around with the multi-layering yet, but I'm sure if you guys want to mess around with the multi-layering, let me know how that goes and how it turned out for you. For anyone starting out and editing pictures, videos, all the stuff you want to do, this app on the PS4 actually has quite a bit to offer. If you don't have access to a decent computer that has editing software, this is a good way to do it if you have a PS4. Put whatever you need from your laptop or whatever onto a USB drive, upload it onto your um, chair factory, edit it on there, put it back on your USB drive, save it to that, and then you can take it and go get something printed off if you're doing pictures. Or if you're getting into making videos for YouTube and Twitch. This is a great app to do that with. Uh, a friend of mine, Blind Samurai, introduced me to this. And I'll have his link down below for his YouTube. Um, give him a look. Check his stuff out. Um, and if you haven't hit that like, hit that subscribe. Don't forget about the notification bell to know when I upload a video or go live. Also, don't forget about the link I'm going to have down below for the fundraiser for uh, Mind Blind Samurai's friend, uh, Big D, otherwise known as Famine, from our ARC videos. Uh, he needs a little bit of help with some money for his uh, foundation for his house. They're just getting started repairing that, and it's going to be a little bit more than they were anticipating. So we're trying to help out as much as we can. Don't forget to stay clean, stay safe, make good decisions if you're going to go out and about. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.